Hey, I know y'all have been after me for a long time. Hey, Dad, just fix something for us. So folks, in this episode, what are we gonna do? We're gonna fix some Beagle Biscuits. I'm talking dog biscuits, so easy, so good. All you pups will be gathered around for a long time. Hey, thank y'all for stopping by camp and ooh, it is a great day. The Beagle has been after me for years to do this and folks on YouTube have been asking, why don't you make something just for them pups? Well, folks, I got to looking around and doing a little research. You know, when you go to the store and buy them dog biscuits, ain't no telling what might be in them. Mm -mm, no, not for sure. And the Big, he's all about being healthy. You can tell by that figure he's got right there. Ain't that right, Big? Yes, he is. <laughs> so we're just gonna create our own, as we call them, Beagle Biscuits, because they for the pups and ooh, we done tried out a batch on them last night and they, they like to eat them all, tore the sack up to get to the rest of them. But the great thing about this is you can cook them in the house, in the oven. You ain't got to do it out here in a Dutch oven but make you a bunch of them, put them in a seal tight jar. You always got some treats for the pups, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now, make a bunch of them cause they gonna love them. So let's just get started with this deal. And what are we talking about? Pumpkin. Now pumpkin is actually a really good source for pups. Yes, it is. And all of mine, they be really approving of pumpkin. And just so get you some canned pumpkin, it's a pumpkin, canned pumpkin. It is a half of a cup. What does it do for them? Well, it helps them, how do you want me to say this, Sam? <laughs> you know you see them dogs that be doing this on the carpet, scooting, scooting their butt across there? I think it's what called, what they call expressing their Okay. <laughs> you wanted to know, you see it. So, this particular little fruit here, or vegetable, whatever you might want to call it, pumpkin, really helps with that. So. Let's get some peanut butter in there and let me let me clean this spoon off a little because we're going to put about two tablespoons in there, which is pretty close to that amount right there. Do you like Jif or Skippy? Do I like Jif? The, the great or, question. The Jif or Skippy? You left out my man too? What about Peter Pan? Oh. You know, they all make them. Now this is Jif, but right here where it says low sodium, oh. this is good for the big's blood pressure, okay? He needs a low sodium diet. Do not get the crunchy that has peanuts in there because pups can't be having no peanuts. They can't. So make sure that you get some. If you can buy organic, I don't even care about that neither. Get you some. Mm -hmm. I'll be loving me some peanut butter. Now to that, two hen fruit. Are these all right with y'all? The Okay, everybody says them look like two really good eggs. So we'll go ahead and use them. Get them in there. Add a little shake of cinnamon because Big likes just a little cinnamon with his dog biscuits. And folks, he has been with me and you pull up at drive up windows and the Big is pretty famous. He is, we'll go to town sometime and go up to the bank window, you know, and they'll be sliding a little drawer out there and they always had him a treat. And it was one of them milk bone biscuits. I'd reach in that deal and give it to him. He had put it in his mouth. He'd look at them people and spit it right out on the pavement. Beagle has good taste. He likes things like that. So let me get a whisk. We'll get that mixed up. Not in that drawer. Get your eggs over, everything going together. Now that is what we call the base for the dog biscuit, the Beagle biscuit. But folks, Beagle likes his to have a little more flavor and you can use chicken broth, beef broth, whatever you got. But we need a little bit of it in there cause we need a little more moisture. Now, when you go to work in this dough after a while, you're going to find out that it ain't nothing like no biscuit dough or no pie dough you ever made. Now, this is really a really dry, sort of dense dough, but that's what we need to get them biscuits to pop up there and be just right. So let me get her stirred. We'll add the flour to it. Y'all have seen the big old many times have a bad sweet tooth. So when we were consulting my number one client here about making his own dog treats, he said, Dad, could you add just a little sweetener to them? And I told him, I said, Big, you can't just be having sugar. So the Big was like me, probably needs just a dash of honey in it. Don't take much. I would say that much is just right. Get that stirred up. Does this meet your approval? Everybody's really into this deal. They are. To that, folks, it's time for the flour. Now, we're not talking white flour. No 
Beagle is healthy. He's all about it. Whole wheat flour. Okay, so we're going to start with about two and a half cups. There's one, two, and we're going to call that pretty close to a half. Now just go to folding it in there till you can get it to make some kind of a ball to where we can get our hands on it. And we'll go to town and go to making dough and beagle biscuits. Whew. Don't take much to it. You don't, and the beagle could eat all that right there by itself. But we're going to roll them out to a half inch thick. Now if you're doing this in the oven, go ahead and preheat the pre -teeth. Pre -heat that oven to 375 degrees. And you can see this is pretty dry dough. You want to just sort of work it where it doesn't ever stick to your fingers and then add a little more flour to it because we want it to be pretty dense, pretty tough. So let's get it rolled out to a half inch thick. Then we'll go to cutting them out and you can make them into any kind of shape, size you might want them to be. Me and the big, we like bow ties. So, bow ties? Yes, we like bow ties. So stick around, it's fitting to happen. So I like to cut them this way, and then I like to just take this green chili can, put them oh. back over there, and what do we have? A bow tie and two footballs. And two footballs, cause Mage likes the little size, which is the football. So cut them out, Get them all over there. Get them in any shape you want. You can make steaks out of them. And like I say, don't take them long to cook, about 30 minutes. But I'm going to tell you this right now before we start cooking them. You know when you get them dog bone biscuits and all that stuff that people make, they said dry and hard duker won't eat them because they just hurt his little old teeth. Mage, he ain't got many teeth, so he can't eat them. But I found out through cooking these, you don't cook them the full time that everybody would recommend. I cook these about 30 minutes and if you want them softer than that go about 25 if you really like the crunch and your dogs need it to clean the tartar from their teeth uh-huh cook them about 45 you'll be in good shape just don't burn them because the biscuit is not good burnt Beagle. It's a ready, it is a done deal. Folks, I cooked these about 20 minutes out here because there's a fierce amount of wind blowing and they get pretty hot. Now you can see where they got a little brown right here on one side. In the oven, they're not going to do this. But I want you to just, you ain't going to hear no crunch. See there? That's the way our pups like them. We don't be liking that to where you got ha 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 on them for a long time. But if you want them that way, hey, you're not gonna hurt my feelings anytime at all. Just cook them about 45 minutes instead of about 30. So these are all probably cool enough that everybody can eat. And Big, since this recipe is named after you, you get the first one. Okay, Duker, you rank in seniority. He'll have to take his over yonder somewhere and dissect it or something. Mates, there's a little football for you. And here you go, Sadie Lou. There we go. Do I get any tail wags for appreciation? None whatsoever, huh? Too busy. Well, me and the mage and all the pups, get out of there, not yet, mage. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. And folks, as always, we tip our hat to all our servicemen and women and all the veterans who have kept this thing going forever and that flag of flying there in freedom. But also, I want you to know the big, the duke, the major, and the Sadie. They're all rescues. Now folks, if you've got time, hey, go buy that shelter in your area because I'm sure they got something that you need to take home. And to me, there's nothing more loyal and more thankful than you going in there and saving somebody's life. This pup right here can't be that far from Shan. He is probably one of the greatest things ever, but they're gonna bring you so many hours of enjoyment. And hey, four-legged fur angels is what I call them. So be sure and check that shelter out. For the rest of you, get on in here. Get your puppies close. Let's give them a hug. God bless you each and every one. And me and Mage will see you down the what? The Dog Biscuit Trail. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sade, you ready for this video? Everybody ready? Duker, you ready? Have a little tail wag for enthusiasm, okay? 
Duke says, I smell somebody coming to help us. What are you looking at me like that for? With your ears back in the wind. Are you playing that song, Gone with the Wind? Huh? You're just, I don't know what to do with you. Huh? Hey folks, y'all know all our taste testers here. They are approved, certified, and doing it well, they are. And I'm sure you got taste testers at home that do a good job too. But folks, we're gonna honor all them taste testers by our new apparel that even has a taste tester logo on it. So be sure and check out the apparel in the link. You're gonna really be wanting you to wear some of them.